Welcome to St. Ives, Cornwall. St. Ives, the dazzling jewel in Cornwall's crown. A picturesque fishing harbour and seaside town with a quartet of golden beaches. Voted Best Family Holiday Destination by Coast Magazine, and one of TripAdvisor's top 10 European beaches. Wander through the maze of narrow cobbled streets, independent shops and fishermen's cottages in the heart of St. Ives. With accommodation ranging from top hotels, bed and breakfast, self-catering cottages or apartments. Come and sample some of the tastiest award-winning restaurants, cafes and bars in the southwest. St. Ives is a historic town, famed for its beaches like Porthmere for surfing, and family-friendly Porthminster, which sits alongside its famous art scene, and stunning coastal walks with scenery that inspired Rosamund Pilcher and Virginia Woolf amongst others. St. Ives has a wide range of outdoor activities including surfing, paddleboarding, tennis and golf to name a few. St. Ives is a world-famous art scene and is home to the Tate, Barbara Hepworth Museum and Sculpture Garden. All are within easy reach of the heart of the town and all its facilities. So, whether it's sandcastles, sandwiches or a swell that you are looking for, St. Ives has a beach for you. The problem is deciding which one to choose. In 2022 both Porthmere and Porthminster were awarded a blue flag, as was nearby Carbis Bay. No visit to St. Ives is complete without a walk around the island. Not a true island, it's joined to the town by a narrow stretch of land, much of which is now a car park. It's a chance to escape the crowds and see if you can spot some seals or just take in the views across the bay. Explore the picturesque bustle of whitewashed fishermen's cottages, art galleries, independent shops, bars and restaurants. Along narrow cobbled streets that maze out from the Digi and Four Street towards the harbour, or up Bedford Road. Enjoy the atmosphere that is uniquely St. Ives. For a town of its size, St. Ives has a surprising number of churches and chapels of varying sizes and denominations. From the fine Anglican parish church of St. I.A. to the diminutive chapel of St. Nicholas perched on top of the island. Three of these are Methodist churches with St. Ives having a strong tradition in Methodism following the numerous visits of John Wesley, the movement's founder, in the 18th century. Amongst St. Ives' curiosities are the two tiny chapels of St. Leonard and St. Nicholas. Both were built to serve the seafarers of the town with St. Leonard looking after the fishermen, and St. Nicholas watching over the sailors from high up on the island. The chapel of St. Nicholas is again a simple one-room affair, and is of similar age. Whilst originally a chapel for the sailors of St. Ives, this diminutive building has had several roles over the centuries. In the 1800s, it was used as a lookout for smugglers by the customs men as this area was ideal smuggling territory. In 1904, the building was tagged for demolition but following a public outcry was saved and restored several years later.
you like this video, please don't forget to click like, subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications. Thanks for watching.